Coding, creativity. Think they don't go together? Today we're going to show you how they do. When we think of software engineering, creativity probably isn't the first word that pops into our mind. But when you think about the hours coders can spend perfecting their lines of code just for the perfect result, maybe it's not so dissimilar to the artistic process. Well, creative coding is the practice that puts coding and art even closer together. Creative coding encompasses all the places at which coding doesn't just have a purely functional or practical purpose, but has a more expressive purpose, just like art. Today, we're speaking to some software engineers and creative coders to get their perspective on what creative coding is, what we can use it for, and where we're going with it in today's society. Let's go. Creative coding is the art of using the power of computation as a means for artistic expression. It pushes the boundaries of both art and coding, turning programming um, into a canvas for art, music, design and storytelling. And it makes code come alive in uh, expressive and inventive ways. Yeah, there's a broad range of practices that uh, fall under the umbrella of creative coding. For example, there's generative art, uh, where artists uh, use algorithms to uh, create unique uh, artworks. And instead of uh, creating every detail, they simply set the rules and the, and the parameters, uh, and then the algorithm does uh, the work by itself, which often leads to pieces that are uh, unique and one of a kind and that transform over time. Another example are uh, interactive installations, uh, which uh, bring in uh, audience participation and environmental elements and they uh, choreograph interactions between uh, humans and uh, digital elements. And then of course there's algorithmic sound art, which explores the sonic possibilities um, of the mathematical and uh, procedural nature of code. Um, creating uh, unique intersections between art and technology. I think creative coding plays an essential role in uh, transforming our relationship with technology. It makes coding more uh, engaging and more accessible. It uh, can uh, foster uh, cross-disciplinary thinking. Uh, it can democratize uh, digital media creation, uh, therefore leading to richer digital experiences. It can have impact in industries such as education uh, by making coding more appealing or uh, in data analysis, it enables the creation of compelling visual narratives from raw data. Algorithm is an event, basically, where uh, people dance to music that is uh, generated uh, through algorithms, which are often live coded on the spot. So algorithms typically use uh, free open source software, uh, which means that everybody has uh, the opportunity to learn how to engage with it. As a practice, it challenges uh, the conventional norms around performance um, and creativity. It's not just about creating music and art, it's about creating a, a shared space um, where uh, the audience and the artists can explore together the, the influence of digital culture in our lives. Live coding is a technique and a practice of making art with code through code. So it's a part of creative coding in which you can create music or visuals or poetry or dance. Anything that can be subject to to be thought as patterns, so as algorithms, can be live coded. If you find the pattern of any kind of music, you can translate it into an algorithm and you can then change it and modify the algorithm to create music. That is a very, very beautiful way to see uh, music through code. The idea is to share a common language with the computer, that is computer code, it's a code that humans and computer understand. And uh, the idea is that the artists deal with this in real time. The idea is to make people dance and we show our code so that people can see what is the process of creation of both the music and the visual. And this is what mostly is happening with live coding, visuals and music. There is not one specific genre that you should do in live coding. You can do from techno to cumbias, anything you can imagine. I 
am a composer, a classical composer, so I was trained as a classical musician in the conservatory. Part of this is studying electronic instruments and electric instruments, so we, we get to see all the history of musical instruments uh, until the computer, which is now a musical instrument. It is my musical instrument. I call myself also a laptopist. Light coding is not only a technique and a practice, it is the community behind it. It is the community that creates the tools, that shares the tools, and it is based in the hacking hacker philosophy and open source philosophy. So our main goal is to be very diverse and inclusive, usually in the technology and artistic environments. Being a woman is a, is a difficult thing. So I felt very welcomed by the community and my goal is to inspire more people. I want to inspire women to, to embrace technology and I want to inspire technology people to embrace art and vice versa. I want artists in general to to, to know that they have this, we have this possibility and, and this open free source community. So our aim is also to, to include people who are not necessarily exposed to technology or art. So this is a community that welcomes people who are interested in both aspects of, of the practice. So we started very few people and now we have thousands of people part of the community around the world. As an artist, of course, and my goal is to make the best music I can make, to express myself in the best way I can. But as part of a community, I want to be uh, someone who, who helps build these spaces, safe spaces. Since the beginning of humanity, there has been people who has made art and uh, they have done it with the technology available in that moment. Now we are going to, through a digitalization process, very deep and very important. I think this, this moment compares to the Industrial Revolution. We are going through such a big change in all our perception, our world, thanks to our technology. Art can be empowered by our technology. So we can also access to other, other dimensions of art that we couldn't before. So I'm very hopeful and very happy to see, for instance, in artificial intelligence is going to bring music and art to another level. So the more we all get in touch with this, the better we are going to be because it, we, we will have a healthier relationship with technology. It, it, it is not that you need to become the best musician or the best programmer, it's just that when you know how to do these things, your life will expand, your horizon will expand. It is one of my joys to teach uh, programmers how to make music, and this is also a part of my life mission. So it's a community that helps each individual shine in a beautiful way. So don't be afraid. In Berlin, art thrives along tech innovation, and it really does feel like there's no limit to what can be experimented with. Coding's functionality seems to nourish modern society more and more. But maybe creativity is what is needed to nourish the soul. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have an opinion, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear it. And subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next video. See you soon.